morning in Nazaré, a seaside town in Portugal. While the markets are just starting to open and the rest of the town still sleeps, there's one person who's been at it since dawn. That's because Nazaré is home to the biggest and most dangerous waves in the world. And for Maya Gabera, that's all that's worth living or dying for. A lot of the life here is guided by the ocean and has always been. A lot of people in town work with fishing or the ladies work with cleaning the fish and selling the fish and drying the fish. You eat very well. This time of the year is an off season, but really it's like the prep for the season. Sometimes it's hard to keep the motivation through like the flood spells. The other day I was so angry, you know, because I just wanted to train for like two weeks, surf every day, and then you wake up and you're like, oh, it's flat. I started surfing, I was 13 to 14. I remember like the first wave I ever went sideways, you know, cutting across the wave. That was like the best feeling ever. Since the beginning, like even before I started surfing, just looking at it, I was hooked. It was a very, very masculine sport at the time, especially in Rio. And I just wanted to break that a standard. In 2013, me and my team at the time had the project to come and explore Nazare. It was much more remote. It felt like this very different place. By luck, that month that we came to train and to set up and to surf a lot, we got hit by a giant storm in that October. We weren't sufficiently prepared. We didn't know the place sufficiently well. I almost drowned that morning of October 28th. Broke my ankle, got resuscitated on the beach. This is a huge, huge question mark to my future throughout those years. I had no idea what was gonna happen. Down but not out, Maya took the time to rediscover herself. Despite the constant fear and setbacks, she refused to give up. Why? Because the water was her home, and everything in her life would lead her back to it. My first fully recovered season was the season of 2017, 2018, which was the one I broke the record. It was a very special day. It was a very special swell. The night before we were out there and the waves were unrideable. It was that big. I knew that the next morning was gonna be something very, very serious. When I finally saw it, I got so scared. I remember it being very, very intimidating, the amount of water that was coming in our direction. And I just thought to myself, like, okay, you gotta make this wave, like you cannot fall on this wave. It was not something normal for the industry. For the industry, normal was the girls, you know, that modeled for the brands and did some free surfing. To break those barriers and to be able to establish myself as a professional big wave surfer, somebody that had, you know, almost died here, had this whole history, it was a huge accomplishment. Maya might have changed the history books, but she did more than that. You see, when everyone told her no, when the water itself tried to stop her, she got back up and got back to what she loved. Now that's conviction. That's Maya Gabera. It would be very hard to live through this life without a passion and a purpose. When I come in from a big day, it's like nothing else matters. There's not many other things that would bring me to shore that exhausted and that satisfied that I don't have to like do anything else but rest and eat and sleep and go again the next day. <laughs> <laughs> 